four Lamy worm pests remain a huge challenge to agricultural production all over Africa. Last year, the pest infected more than 100, 117,000 hectares of farm fields in Ghana, causing farmers huge losses. More than 28 countries in Africa have recorded devastation by the pest. In southern Africa, uh, the southern African country of Mozambique, scientists there are working on maize varieties with inherent resistance to the pest. Joseph Opokugakbo visited that country and has come through with this report. Located in the southeastern coast of Africa, Mozambique has a population of 28 million people. 80% of the working force are small-scale farmers. Most part of Mozambique is dry bare land and drought is a common phenomenon. So, because there is no rain. The plants sometimes need water. It's a bad situation. The country's challenges were further compounded when fall armyworm pest first invaded in 2017, destroying particular maize farms. The pest is estimated to have cost 200 million US dollars loss to the Mozambican economy last year. My heart was broken because the pest destroyed all my crops. My family was without food. 64% of the population lack access to sufficient quantities of affordable nutritious food. 50% of Mozambicans are undernourished. But with funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, scientists there are working on improved seas that have inherent resistance to fall amyloid pest. We've come to the Chukwe Research Station of the Agricultural Research Institute of Mozambique here in Southern Africa. Well, on this 2.5 acre field, there are trials ongoing of what is called the Wema maze. This is transgenic and this is not transgenic. In terms of difference, we can see, for instance, the leaf damage. This one has no leaf damage by insect. But in opposite, we have this one, which has the leaves which are completely damaged. This is the effect of the insect. So, and we are, we, are, we, are, we are expecting to have more yield on this one. As you can see, the cobs are good. Planted last year, the maize also has stronger resistance to drought and to the more common stem borer pest. The farmers will have more yield using this variety than the conventional one. Yeah, according to the previous study, we almost find that uh, the difference between transgenic and the conventional is about 30 percent in terms of yield. The scientists are convinced West African countries, including Ghana, can adopt it and it will work, saying... The final product, I'm sure that that will be used through all of the Africa. For Joy News, Joseph Chokwe, Mbeki.